Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Chili Mango and we are playing Interloper on the Long Dark. So just as a bit of a recap from last time, I had in fact recorded another episode before this one but unfortunately the sound didn't pull through properly and we won't be able to watch that particular episode. As a bit of a recap of it, we ended up going and fully looting the village at Thompson Crossing and we ended up having a look at the cave near Coastal Highway to see if there was any loot there. There wasn't anything in particular, so I just looted that and then headed back to the barn, which is where I will have been when you last watched part 7. So what we're going to do is we're just going to carry on, head back to the farmyard, drop off our stuff, and then we're heading to uh, Mystery Lake. So we should be there today. So, let's get to it. Still got all of our stuff. So let me just remind myself where we are up to. We did get some rabbits when we were at Thompson Crossing. It is near the end of the day, so what I think is we will eat those, get our health up a little bit more, and then just go from there. Very nice. And go to my food. Let's do the next one as well. We're just going to do this with our hands because I don't think it's worth it with the tool anyway. You don't get enough meat back, in my opinion. Perfect. So let's get those quick. And we'll have some good meat there from all the rabbits. So I also wanted to say thank you very much to um, one of the comments on my last video. I think it was Pest789. I did ask a question about if the world was getting colder. And uh, yes, the temperature does, does drop um, until day 50. So that is in very much helped me with my decision to go to Mystery Lake. Um, was very helpful because I'd kind of heard about it so I thought it got colder but I wasn't 100% so thank you very much so, dropping our guts that's our other meat we're just going to drop these while we're in here as well just so they can start curing we've got quite a lot of stuff to head back the farmyard so we will be quite heavy but it's fine brilliant so we have looted all in here yep so we're just going to get ourselves all ready to head over to the farmyard and then we're on a mission to mystery lake i would very much like to get a maglen soon and a mag lens is very good for those who don't know because it means that you can start a fire when it's a sunny day outside. So it means that, you know, we're not using matches unnecessarily. You know, if it is a sunny day and I had some meat on me, I'd cook it there and then just to avoid using any matches. But until that time, we're going to have to use them to keep ourselves alive, which is fine. coal. Mm. I might leave this coal here for future occurrence while we come here. So I'm just going to keep a couple of bits of coal with me just in case we ever get into a situation where we can't warm up because it's chilly outside. So how much water do we have? We've got quite a lot. Might do another when that gets cooking. The saplings are coming along nicely. It's coming along nicely. Yeah. We're getting there. So, let's just 
get that eaten. And I am also going to drop them because we don't need them. And they are, they're not too heavy, but we don't need them. We've got our um, pot there, which will do as well. So we'll sleep in the car again. We need to keep her, uh, make sure that we're not surrounded too by cold. snow. Nothing to drink. Party meal of rabbit, and we will drink a birch. Just try and get our health up a little bit. I would like to soon um, go for well fed, which basically means if you eat consecutively, I think for three days, and you don't go hungry, you get a benefit of being able to carry more. Can't remember what the exact amount is. But as soon as we start hunting as well, that will make that a lot easier. Let's just get this. This pack is getting kind of heavy. Very good, very good. Have we got two of those lanterns or just one? Yeah, we got two. I will keep that here. here as well. We've got so much spray paint. I think it's unnecessary weight. Not sure ah. why I feel so tired. Ugh, never mind. <laughs> Should have checked. But anyway. No one do that mistake, please. So let's have a look. Okay, it's quite warm. It is going down. So, just gonna let that go down a little bit, just so we can make sure that we are warm in here. Should be it's stabling, isn't it, at 14? Right, let's drink. Tap ourselves up. And this is it. How long do you think we should get away with five hours? We might be alright, but I don't want to sleep too much. Oh, an Aurora. It's always a bit of a risk when you sleep. Have a little look outside. I'm gonna need to eat soon. Crouch. Nice. <laughs> Very nice. Right. Let's go back in and sleep. Radio worked. Yeah, I think we could have slept for ten hours. Dunno, just I'm always a bit wary when you're not in a house. I've never been so hungry in my life. Mm, might eat that. Just so, like I say, we're regaining a little bit of health. Right. I'm just going to let time pass a little bit. And then sleep. 
just so we're fully rested when we head out. And then let's get to the farmyard. Right, let's pick up all of our stuff up. We are going to smell, so we do need to be careful. I need to find food. How heavy are we? Okay, not too bad. Like I say, we will be attracting wolves. Let's just get this out. Yeah, you can already see one running. Keep an eye on him. Take him for a walk. Yeah, it's not doing too badly. We are heavy, of course. So we just need to make sure that we're not going too slow. see the farm just in front of us there those trees in the background are messing with my eyes I feel like there's a bit of a storm coming it's getting a bit windy So there's some deer over there, so we could walk this guy over to that deer and see if we can get them. But it does seem a little bit windy, so I think I'm just going to head straight to the farm. Right. So, if it's a blizzard now, I don't want to get lost, so I'm going to face directly at it and try and avoid the temptation of looking behind do a tiny room just to make sure he's a bit behind me on, right it's not too bad look yeah it's fine in a little bit it's cold hypothermia so we we'll Freezing. Let's get inside. And then we're not too far from the cave. I think it's to the winding river, which leads us to the dam. And then that will lead us to Mystery Lake. See, I said we're not going to look round, and I've done it twice. I think my stomach is eating itself. I don't think he'll get us now. Yeah, I didn't follow what I was going to say and I've been looking around at him every step of the way. Any dogs? I think he's given up now. Let's get indoors. And inside. And we're safe. Lovely. Tiny bit of 
food here, isn't it? So, what can we drop? Drop these. Drop these. I might leave the rabbits here. The pelts and everything. And then when we come back, we know that we've got some things to do, some crafting. Is there anything else I can leave here? Might take that. I'm going to take that because I collect them. Drop that. Drop that. I think I might take everything else with me. about that um, not that for now so we've got a couple of things here haven't we so we're just going to wait now until this sorts itself out because I don't really want to travel when it's so cold so I might just sleep oh no that's not a bed I do want to get moving. And that's nice because we are warming up. Mm. One check. Does sound quite bad still. Should we just go? How cold is it? Right. I might just pass. Let me just read. Let's eat and read and then hopefully time which is one that I've started. And then hopefully, because it's midday, it'll be a lot warmer and hopefully the weather sorts itself out. Doesn't it sound like it? Let's check. No, it has. Minus 10. Right, let's just do it, shall we? So I'm going to follow the road over here. We're not going to, oh, got no stones. Uh, follow the road over here, and then we're going to head up, up to there. Let's get some stones as well. There are some rabbits over here. See if there's any stones there and maybe catch one for our tea tonight. Yeah, so we're basically heading up to on my left screen, you can actually see it. We're heading up to that radio tower, the other side of it. And then onward to Mystery Lake. Yeah, so see the bunny rabbits in front of us? Minus 10 still. If we don't find any stones, we'll just go past them. <laughs> no, I can't see any stones. My stomach feels like an empty pit. You get to live. Yeah, so the great thing about this map, this road running from one side to another, that if you find it, even if you find the water to be fair, if you keep following it around, you will eventually...
come to a bridge or something and be able to find this road and a lot of the main houses are off this road or have an entrance and it is quite open this map so it's one of my favorites this one and there's quite a couple of bears good source of meat of course when you have a weapon to be able to fight them which I do not currently have yep so we're gonna head up here I think I see some saplings in front of us did I pick up my saplings? need to find some place to escape this cold Oh, I didn't. <gasps> That's annoying. Right, well, we'll come back for them, never mind. At least they're nicely curing there. Pick up these ones. That's why you should always check before you set up. We're just carrying on up here. It swings round to the left, and then we're looking for I think it's a tree that's lent against the side with a rock face. And then that, if we go up there, there is an entrance to a cave which takes us to the winding river. We are cold, but hopefully we'll be able to make it to that cave before any real damage starts happening. So when you are cold and you know you are taking damage of hypothermia risk, your decline is steady, it's not dependent on how cold the world is. So you always have you know a certain amount of time to start getting warm before you're in uh, real trouble or your health's getting quite low. Mm, I might. Shall we head towards the radio tower? Perhaps and fix it? I would do anything or not for fix a drink it, right but now. put a few of the bits that we've got and then we're carrying less fuses do that potentially mm. yeah let's do that because the only thing is we'll end up taking all those fuses and all those wires somewhere where again then we will need to come back and then fix it. So it's somewhere around here. There it is. So there's a little road here as well. Helps you if you're ever up here. Might be a good shout this actually, because we will be able to warm up. And I'm sure there's a bed up here as well. I see another sapling. We'll get that on our way out. Wind's picking up again. Stones. If 
future rabbits. So this is the radio tower. So you can't get it in from this side. So you've got to go around and there's that hole. That'll come in handy. Yeah, so let's loot in here. Ooh, thanks. Let's have a look. Oh no. Very nice. Look at the difference. Thank you very much. So let's get our light out. Maps should be able to see. Check underneath. Sewing kit. Check in here. So that's a really good find with those pants. And we found some more food as well. So if we do have to spend the night here. Gear starting to slow me down. Another car battery, which we will use on the actual radio tower. So the only thing I think we don't have to fix it is the metal, but it's fine because we first would need to go to Forsaken Airfield to then start. Um, to be able to start that actual tail. So it's not too bad. So you can get metal as well from these things because I've got a hacksaw as well. You can use the hacksaw. I'd eat snow things. if the hypothermia wouldn't kill me. Okay. Um. So. Right. Okay. So let's just go to it and see if we can at least. So this is what you have to come to. The transmitter. So you put the battery there and you need the metal parts for this. But we know we've got a battery. So I'll just leave that inside for now. So I'm actually gonna make a note of this. Can't feel my hands. To say what we have done. So signal void. PV wires done. Battery inside, and what are the other things called? Fuses. Fuss. How do you spell fuse? Oh yeah. No mechanism. At least we know that I have done a little bit of that now. So I'll tell you what, we're going to have another sleep. Because we will make our, cell, make our way over to the cave because it's dark anyway in there. So we might as well. Just warm up. Again. 
it's about day. As long as it's, I can see, should be fine. Like I say, because we've slept, so I have a little bit more stamina. I don't think we smell, do we? So we'll attract minimals. So let's go and pick up that sapling. made me feel a little bit better as well about leaving the rest of them at the farmhouse. Very nice. Maple. So let's get to the cave. Where can so, I find something to eat? I'm gonna follow this track a little bit and then we'll bear right. Another lovely day. We'll head over this way, which should roughly take us to where we want to go. Oh, and it's calmed down. Thank you. Some crows nearby. Can't see them. So I know there is a hunter's blind to me here. Oh, I see some rabbits. Might pick them up while we're here. Oh, there the crows. Anything in it? Hilltop cave. Oh, there's a bed in here. Ooh. Very nice. Some just dog what food. I need. I don't think it's just what I need. But anyway, I'm nothing in the back pan. Anyway, that's a good find. Rabbit moving away. Let's just try. Oh, no way. 
I'm not gonna get it. I'm not gonna get it. Ah! That was a good shot. Oh. <laughs> Gotta be honest, didn't think I was hitting that. Don't think it helped that I sat down as soon as I did it or crouched. carry this load okay. for much longer. So, I do know we're near the cave. When we're near that blind. Head over here. I think it's here, actually. Yes, it is. So this is the tree. So when you see this tree, you've got a head up. This little path to the right of it. Now this is another sneaky entrance because the cave entrance is actually high up so you might walk past this and not know it's up there so have a look for these trees here this is kind of my marker so I know where I am Obviously got the issue that there's I don't think there's any beds near here. So we might need to plow on. Until I don't even think there's a bed in the um dam, I don't think. I don't remember there being. So I know we're a bit overweight but I might just need to plow through this until we get outside of the dam and then we can uh, sleep in one of those trailers any food or anything. So I don't know all the routes of the caves, I usually just pick a direction and hope for the best. Oh, and uh, that worked out for the best. So we can see there is where we get out, but we'll just check down here. Not gonna go far, but just to see if there is anything down here. But there is this something. pack is getting too heavy to carry. I'm just going to pick that up in case We just happened that time to choose the right way of getting through that cave system. That was entirely a fluke. I'll tell you what, I am impressed with that long sniper shot on that rabbit. <laughs> that was, again, that was a fluke. Well, at least we're warm. Okay. So we'll pick up these cattails as well. Yeah, 
So we're gonna have to just plow through, because like I say, there's nowhere for us to sleep. There usually is a wolf down here, so we'll just have to see what he's doing, because there's some bunnies down here as well, and sometimes he can get a bit distracted and chase after the bunnies, in which case we can slip past, but if not, we might need to get a flare, which I'll get ready now, just in case. Head up here now. Nice. Thankfully, it's still warm, so we don't need to worry about that for now. So you can see that bunny rabbit just heading up there and then there is usually a wolf further down which we'll try what we did the other day and see if we can push that bunny rabbit up there. Now there is a cave up there, we should check that. No we might just plow one. Let's try and get this bunny rabbit to go up here. That's doing it anyway. Let's see if we can get it up there to distract that bear. Bear? Wolf. Can you eat trees? Oh, Mr. Bunny Rabbit, you do not. Yes, there you go. <laughs> you say that bunny rabbit is not very good. So, in one of my previous episodes, I was saying that you can use the wildlife and push it up to where you're going. So just double check that there's no other predators. Doesn't like it. Oh, the wolf is there. And he's eating a bunny rabbit. So, bunnies don't last very long. So, we need to get up here. Oh dear. Well, in theory, what I said was true. <laughs> that you can distract wolves with rabbits, but he finished eating. Right at the second I walked past him. So that did not help us. So let's just carry on walking up here as quickly as we can. I think we should be fine. He's still on us. No, he's not. So unfortunately, you can't get in the dam on this side. You have to go across, across a very precarious ledge. 
which I've seen numerous videos, can project you out. So I think you've got to move slow and steady through this ledge. I do get a little bit nervous. Me and I don't like going into Carterdam at night because there's a lot of electricity Sunset. cables. It's gonna get a lot colder soon. Which you can walk over and you can get electrocuted. So don't like going in at night, but we have no choice. Eat again. So, you can't get through this door, unfortunately. It's only one way. So you can come out, but you can't get in. So we need to go across this awful ledge. Which I do tend to crawl. Just because, you know, like I say, I get a little bit nervous when I'm here. It's a long way down. Lovely view. I don't know if you can walk across. I'm sure you can. But I just feel like when you're crouching, there's less risk of it pushing you out pushing you out over that ledge. And let's like I say, let's hope there's not an aurora, because I don't want the uh, cables on. I just want to get through and get out. And saying that, I don't think we'll even loot it very well. If we see something, we'll grab it. But I just want to get, th I just want to get through, and I want to get out. Get to the trailer. Oh, we're moving slow. Is it windy? in a little bit of trouble there is an aurora because I will not move and we're on low health and obviously when you're sleeping you lose health I'm not entirely sure how much but let's just hope there is no aurora oh. okay and I'm not going to say we're safe until we're at the other side of this Fence. Something to eat. Oh. Oh. Okay. Right. So I head up here, and then you go through this window, which, when I first played, I completely missed. Another book. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Completely missed this. Walk past it. Mm. Say, so I'm gonna eat again. And I am going to sprint through this. Just double check, double check, double check. The box, no. Right. We're literally going to just check as well to see if we see a bedroll. And that is about it. We're just going to walk straight through. And we will come. See, all these can be electrocuted when there's an aurora. So you don't want to be inside, really. I do tend to avoid it altogether at night. But I am looking through it at night. But unfortunately, it is a necessity at this moment in time. these electricity cables so 
saw that door that we came through before um sorry that door that i said that you can't only go one way that's that door so you can leave you just can't get in that way Marine flat. Get in there. Speed running through this dam. Anything. I could use a drink. Yep. Right, up we go. So we are getting Weak. there. sounds very ominous this place as well. All the creaks. Right, I think we're okay. I see a bedroll. No, no. Like I say. We are coming back. Right. Do you know what? We're just gonna get into need to be careful because there is sometimes a wolf right outside here let's get that out just in case but there is our bed for the night I don't think we've done quite well there. We've travelled quite a long way. Can we see a dog anywhere? I can't hear him, but it is windy. No, no. Oh, I'm so heavy. I'm so heavy. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I just heard him then. I'm not, yeah. I just heard him like he was going to chase us. So I panicked. Oh. I don't even care that I just used a flare. There's got to be something useful in here. Thank you. I felt like he was going to come and get us then. Ooh, my little heart. Okay. So, we're just going to sleep here, I think. Get our health up. Just make my heart go. So, let's see. What's the worst condition? And then I'm going to have a herbal tea to help me get some health back and then oh and it was an aurora thank goodness we ran through oh we've done some very good decisions in this one oh if I'd have been in there 
with an aurora. That would have been it, I think. Right, let us sleep for 10 hours, if we can. And let's get some health back. Oh, I'm so glad we went through straight through. Brilliant. And we've got quite a lot of health. Quick look outside. I could eat anything. The aurora's still going. We're not going to go outside. Let's see if we can read. Thought you could read about an aurora. Right. Skip some time. Yeah, so it's unfortunate that we had to use that flare, but I'd rather use it and at least still be alive. Right, let's see. Better to use a flare than to be dead. <laughs> right. Let's see what the weather's like. I could eat anything right now. You know what? Let's try. If we have to use another flare, we use another flare. But we're going to try and make our way around here. Let's get to the house on the lake and then I think we'll call it there. Yeah, don't be afraid to use any of the things here. It's better to use it, like I say. So here it is a potential moose spawn. Just looks like deer today. Actually, can I see the bark? No, I don't think it is the moose spawn actually. So if there's any indication of potential spawn, there's usually a like bark that's been rubbed off some of the trees, but there isn't any. So it wouldn't spawn here anyway. Off this deer. Still can't see him. Oh, there he is. Oh, and the deer's running the way I want to go. Sometimes they just don't know, they just don't do what you want them to. Can't feel my feet. Yeah, so if you ever hear a uh, wolf bark, it means that it's obviously aggroed on you. And it can also mean that they're about to charge you. I really like him off my case. Ooh, some saplings there. Eh? We'll come back for them. Hey, we're very uh, sapling rich, aren't we? Damn. Quite a lot of them. Freezing. Quite a lot of them. Oh, there you go. Go for that. Go for that. Yes. Yes. So, the wolf went for the deer. So, we're going to check. There's a little uh, cave here. We'll check that. Then we'll check that. Hunter's Lodge. It's not a Hunter's Lodge. Hunter's Blind, and then uh, we'll keep going. Gotta eat soon. And get to our base. Get away from now. I think this is Dave's, isn't it? Is it Dave's? Alan. Right, 
so we'll have a look at that blind and then we'll get in there. Yeah, I'm very happy with this episode. I think we made some good decisions. We got out when we needed to. And now we can uh, loot this place, get some more food. Doing well. Another flare, brilliant. Great. Yeah, so this is a little path that takes you to the actual lake. And then um, if we keep following it round, we'll take us to uh, the uh, camp office which is where we're going to have our main base for the entire world and not just for this particular map I think I prefer it more, I know some people prefer trappers um, I prefer it just because it's in the middle that deer scared me to death menacingly coming towards me like I say get to the camp office and then we're gonna finish there for today and then the uh, episode after that will be a fun no, I'm not putting that right will be a fun uh, looting of this map So we go around this bend and we're at the lake then we just keep right and then we should be able to see our home you can see to the right there is a couple of ropes up there it takes you to a place I can't remember what it's called but there's usually some loot up there and um, but you can actually get up there without climbing those two ropes so I wouldn't really recommend it, just make you too tired. What's that? What are you doing? Yep, so here's the lake now. can't wait till we drop all of our stuff and then we're not overweight so there does tend to be quite a lot of wolves on this lake head round, keep to the right yep I can see a wolf <laughs> heading towards us Distracting. Whoa! Oh, I hit him on the head! It does work! No way! I'm not gonna do that again. No way! Right, yeah. We're not gonna. Right. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of wolves. Right, okay, we're just gonna like this. <laughs> I can't believe we hit him on the head. I 
I'm well chuffed. We did a nice little bunny snipe, which I was dead happy about, and now we've... Here's a wolf on the head. You can actually throw this flare at them to scare them away. But I think I'd rather keep him behind me and walk. Having a little, like, boppy dance. Like, runs and then crouches a little bit. Where are we going? Go oh, this way. Right, let's get those rocks. Let's get him away from us. Go away. kind of want to get back as well because I want to use this flare to make a fire. You know, if we had to use it, I might as well make some water out of it. Okay. Right, let's just get rid of you. Oh, I thought it was coming to get me then. Oh. We're so close. Come on. Oh, go away. Do you have to run that close? Do you have to do that? I swear you do it on purpose. I'll drop my rock now. Right, so I'm just going to say goodbye here because the minute I get into this, I'm going to stop. So, uh, thank you very much everyone for watching. Uh, we've had a very eventful session. But, thank goodness we made some right calls. We got out of the dam. I bopped a wolf on the head and I did a sniper shot of a rabbit. So, a very successful uh, session. So, uh, thank you very much everyone for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye.